Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we'll be taking a look at Paranoid Android Roam for OnePlus 5 and 5T, which is based on Android Pie. So without further ado, let's get started. Before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So I've already installed it on my device, which is OnePlus 5 and the installation guide can be found at the end of this video. This was the most awaited ROM till now. It was one of the best ROM during the time of Android Nougat that was Android 7.1 or 7.0 and later the development was completely stopped. We had only one build based on Android Oreo that was also not stable. But now we have the first beta available which is an QSSI image that is Qualcomm system image and it can only run on treble enabled devices with single partition that is A partition. So let me show you the software information first by going to system about phone under android version here you can see android version and android 9 paranoid android version is beta and the build date was 5th jan 2019 before moving ahead i would like to inform you guys that this is not a stable build many things are not working and this rom cannot be used as daily driver once we have the stable build available i'll again do a review on it and update you guys so this will be the first look of this rom it comes pre-installed with a quick step launcher then you also have a music application which is a snapdragon music application this is a quick setting panel with 3 is to 3 ratio and you can also edit them by tapping the edit icon and i'm using my geo sim card on this so as you can see i am getting network but phone calls that is incoming and outgoing is not working at all gps is not working usb file transfer mode is also not working rome comes with an aosp camera pre-installed but I haven't tested the Google camera application, I'm waiting for the stable build as I'm not using it as my daily driver. I'll tell you everything what all things are not working in this. As you can see if you turn on the mobile data also that won't work. But Wi-Fi is working fine. Then under connected device we also have issues with the Bluetooth. Then under apps and notification here we have the recently used apps from where you can also control the notification of specific applications. Under battery we have battery saver mode, battery manager battery percentage can be enabled here we don't have adaptive battery feature then under display brightness level auto brightness is not working that is adaptive brightness if you enable it also that does not work night mode works fine you can turn it from here and you can also change the intensity of that then we have ambient display options under which we have only one feature that is new notification wake up under themes we have three themes available one is automatic based on wallpaper light and dark but dark theme is not working under security and location, fingerprint is working fine, no issues with the fingerprint scanner. Then under system, we have few gestures available like jump to camera, swipe up on the home button that you can enable it from here. So guys, being a beta build, there are lots of bug and it cannot be used as daily driver. Once we have the stable build, I'll update you guys about that. And let me also show you the benchmark results with Geekbench application and n Bench application. With Geekbench application, single core have scored 1909. With multi core, the device have scored 5906. With Antutu benchmark application, device have scored 1,75,358. If you compare it with the official Pi builds, that is Oxygen OS 9.0.1, in that the device had scored more than 2 lakhs. So, guys, this was all about Paranoid Roam. Now, moving on with the installation process. To install Paranoid ROM on your OnePlus 5 and 5T, make sure your device is running on the latest Pi build, that is Oxygen OS 9.0.1 and if you are also running any beta version which is based on Android Pi, that will also work out. So as you can see, I am running on Oxygen OS 9.0.1 and here you also need to unlock your bootloader. So if you guys haven't unlocked the bootloader, I'll tell you steps how to unlock the bootloader. And after you have unlocked the bootloader, you need to download the file from the XDA forum. So download the file, then place it inside the ADB folder. So as you can see, I have ADB drivers installed on my C drive. Here I have subfolders like OnePlus 5, OnePlus 6, OnePlus 60. So under OnePlus 5, I have placed the files. So this is the ROM file. This is the TWRP recovery file. So once you have all the files available, what you need to do is to unlock bootloader, you need to go to about section type build number seven times until you see you are a developer now then go back go to system go to developer option and from here you need to enable oem unlocking first 
as my device bootloader is already unlocked so I don't have to do it again. Enable advanced reboot and also enable USB debugging. Once you are done with all these things, before unlocking bootloader, make sure to take a backup of your device because this will entirely delete your data from your device. Then press power key and reboot to bootloader. Once your device boots into fast boot mode, connect it to your PC. Then go to the same folder where you have placed these files. Here you need to open command prompt. Make sure you have placed all these files inside ADB folder itself. Then in the address bar where you have placed these files, type cmd and hit enter. This will open up command prompt. Here what you have to do is, here you need to give a command fastboot devices. If your device serial number appears, then it means your device is connected properly in the fastboot mode. Then coming on to the unlocking part, before doing that, once again I am telling you to take a backup of your device, then give a command fastboot oem unlock and hit enter so as you can see it says failed device is already unlocked as you can see my device is already unlocked so i don't have to do it again now coming on to the flashing part here we have to flash this system image so just copy this name or else you can simply name it as system go to your command prompt type command fastboot flash system and paste the name of the room followed by dot img hit enter now this process might take three to four minutes so once this process is completed successfully now the thing is we need to flash twrp recovery what you have to do is again copy the name open up command prompt and give a command fastboot flash recovery followed by the name of the recovery what you have copied paste it here and add dot img hit enter now after recovery has been successfully flashed, go to your device, use volume key to change the options, select recovery mode and press power key. Now your device will boot into TWRP recovery. Let me decrease the brightness first. Once you are done with this, you just need to go to wipe and swipe to factory reset. And that's it. Now you can reboot your device. After rebooting your device, you can again come to TWRP recovery and flash the Google app package or Magisk if you want to root your device. So let's reboot a device now. So as you can see, device have been successfully booted. It will hardly take around 3 to 4 seconds to boot up. Once it boots up, you can again go to TWRP recovery and flash the Google app package. So guys, this way you can install Paranoid on your OnePlus 5 and 5T. If you have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. Hope you like the video and if you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.